Um, so this is our racer short block. Um, it is similar to our stage two. Um, so what this is, is this is the cheapest, quickest option to get you to your race event in two weeks. So, so we have a lot of people hit us up, you know, they do drag racing, road course racing, you know, they killed their motor at the last event and they just need something quick to be able to make it to the next event. Because like I used to do, I used to pay for a bunch of my events ahead of time. Well, if you kill your car, you've already paid for these events, so you've got to make it to the event. So this is an option that is geared towards cheap, quick, and functions. So it's not pretty, but it functions well. So this is our stage two technically, so it's just like our stage two block except slightly different rods. So it's a used EJ25 uh, RA case, um, and it's obviously one that we vet. We make sure the main line's straight, the bores are good. Uh, we rehone it here in-house. Um, we do all of our oil porting to it, so we'll do all the oil, our uh, port modifications on every single hole that's in the case. Um, we take manly uh, drop-in pistons um, and we send them to line-to-line -to -line coatings and we have them put their abradable coating on the side skirts so you get a really good piston wall clearance because it wears to the cylinder. Uh, we do this for two reasons. For one, mathematically you can try and get the perfect piston wall clearance. Um, but in all reality when these things are torqued together and they're heated up, they they don't have perfect pores. They just really don't. These things are made of butter. Um, so the abradable coating, what it does is as you break the engine in, this coating wears to the perfect shape and size of the bore, so you have a perfect piston wall clearance. And then on top of that, it's really porous, so it, it retains oil in it, which keeps the piston stable. Um, when the piston is more stable in the bore, the rings stay square in the bore, so they seal better. So you make more power, and it lasts longer. Um, also, for this option, we also um, put the thermal ceramic barrier on top of the pistons. It's another coating from line-to-line -line coatings. Uh, we do that. We 10th gram balance all the pistons. Um, and then we use the cheapest, but very functional, Eagle H beam rods. Yes, they are the skinny ones. We've pushed these past 450 wheel horsepower before. Um, a lot of people have their opinions about these rods, and they're cheap, but they're cheap for a reason. They, they function, they're better than a stock rod, they hold the, they hold the big end bearing, you know, better. Um, they have ARP 2000 hardware, they're lighter, they're pretty well balanced from the factory, they have better wrist pin oiling. These are really good rods, especially for the price. So we put these in this option. Um, we use calico coated uh, rod bearings, so what we'll do is we'll blueprint the block first. Um, we'll take the bearings out of the case, out of the rods, send them out to calico, and then they'll put their dry film lubricant on it and they'll send them back to us. And they're numbered, they go right back in the same rod they were in, we calculate for the you know extra thickness the coating adds. Um, and that just, you know, that helps with detonation, that helps with oil starvation and anything like that. And then we also use a used salt bath nitride crank. Yes, surprisingly, we have a lot of these because a lot of these engines fail from ring lamp failure, not so much bearing failure, which there are a slew of them, but most of them that we get our piston or, or uh, ring lamp failure, so the crank is usually still good. So we measure it, you know, we micro polish the journals, make sure everything's good, and we fully blueprint it to this block. Um, so yeah, we've uh, we would trust this block to 450, 500 horsepower if you're feeling real frisky. This is your weak point, but this is the EJ25 Stage 2 Racer Short Block. We sell this for $3,100, or we can include the oil pump if you tell us you know, what kind of heads you're running, if you're running ABCS, um, just so we know what kind of volume this thing needs. We can also put an oil pump on it. We have different staged oil pumps, and we also have racer oil pumps, which are rebuilt OEM oil pumps that we send the housing to line-to-line -line coating, so the same guys that do this, and they coat the inside of the rotor housing. Um, and you get more consistent oil pressure. It cleans up any scoring that was in there originally. And it's just a really, really good combination. It's a really good option for you guys that want to go to the racetrack next weekend and your junkie Subaru blew up. So, there you go, racer block. A little bit of smoke. <laughs>